Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil has an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get his newsletter, folks. You come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into newsletters. And then you'll see it on the right-hand side, the opening call. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get the opening call for one month for $149. You can get it for six months for $695, which is the savings of $199 at 22%. And you get it for one year for $1,195, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come, folks, with 30-day money-back guarantee. So you can check it out. You like it, bottom line, it works for you, just keep it. For some reason, it doesn't work for you, 29 days, just cancel it, and guess what? You're going to have not only a great newsletter, you, he has a lot of guys out there that can, you'll learn how to ride that Chapman wave each and every day. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, what's going on is market's going down, and we missed you. <laughs> I hope you, uh, it's good to have you back. Yeah, great to be back, and um, it's been quite a market, man, no doubt. Yes, it has. And what's interesting is that uh, in, in some way, the charts are fairly traditional, just the way I'm looking at it. But the the backdrop is so different to what we've seen before, because the unknowns are, we, we pretty much know what's going on. The Fed has said all along they're going to be tightening. Um, we've seen the dollar rally. There's a whole bunch of things that are right there obvious. So how we come out uh, of August and go into September is going to be important. And you can actually see that on the chart. Look, we had a really nice, we've been along the Dow um, and the diamonds uh, since right over here. That was back around about the 18th of July. Actually, we were in at the low and we took some profits and we got back in. But when we started to get to this high, this peak at the top at the 34,281 level, uh, on the 16th of August, we had two candles, and I call those candles silent doji candles. I call them silent because if you had to do a scan and look for a reversal, you wouldn't see the doji candle. A doji candle can sometimes be a halfway marker or a reversal candle. So I, I, I had a webinar once, I, it's, it's archived, where I talk about the silent doji. Uh, so what happened was it got a little bit cautious, there, and then um, right yet before the opening on the 22nd, before that very ugly day, we had already we had gotten along. Actually, you now we got the day before we already we are, we went short the DOG. That's one to one short because I didn't like anything that was going on. And when I said to subscribers, for those of you who've been along the diamonds and we've taken some off, hold that position. But if you want, we can ameliorate any downturn by having uh, like a one-to-one -one short. But for anyone who's new, anyone who wants to play the downside, we have the DOG. So now we're still in that DOG. What's really important about the Dow at this particular point is that you've done a one-to-one -to, -one to the downside. And uh, right here with the low today of 31,647, the 31,500 is going to be really important going into the end of the week. I, it really has to hold that. And you can see the weekly chart was doing really well. The MACD was good. Stochastic is still pretty good at 76%. But the uh, nine has just today gone underneath the 14. And that says you've got to be a little careful. So this little uh, channel, this little mini channel that I call the Chapman Wave inside, uh, inside track propellant line, was a repellent line and it held very nicely, but now we're testing the lower part. That's why I'm saying 31,500 is going to be really important. And of course, we've got another day to go before um, August completes it. So I can't really talk about the candle just yet in the monthly chart. So what we've done is we've been taking profits. We had the Q three times long, the QQQs. We had actually two positions. And we, we took a really good profits on today. We got stopped out on that sharp pullback of of our final position for an, a nice gain. But that, that also gave us really very up to a 40 percent gain in one one position. Nice. So we're out of that. We built up a cash position. But most importantly, we're watching. Um, we had I spoke to you about this. We have CF Industries. This is hydrogen, nitrogen products, clean energy, fertilizer, emissions abatement. Everything there just sounds perfect for this environment. So we've been long since the 95s. We've taken little bits off. It hit 119.60 the other day. And what did it do? It did, you remember I was talking about the candles. Look, it did this little tiny doji plus, it looks like a plus sign candle at the exact top at 119.60 on the 26th of August. 
Um, so we've been taking little bits off. And look at this. From in three days, it's gone from 11960 to today's low of 105. So that that's what we're looking at here. We're looking at sector rotation. Where uh, another one in the same energy sector, we had NFE, which is New Fortress Energy Inc. A shares natural gas fuel solutions in the 45s. It doubled top 62.79 and 63.06. When I measured the left side. To the right side, I like to look at it vertically to see are the technicals confirming. Nope, they weren't. So we started to pull back. So that might mean that some of these energy stocks could be pulling back, and that will give uh, that will give people that are looking like um, fund managers, uh, mutual funds, looking at new positions. And that means if the oils in that particular sector takes a breather, because that's all I think it would be. Uh, we might find that you're getting some support. In fact, we started a new position today in a single digit stock in the sevens. Um, we tried to get a split position because it was in the gap open. And I said, we'll, we'll get that. But we also wanted much lower down. We did. We just missed the one at the bottom. And now it's running very nicely. So there are places to be. This is not a stock stock. This is now in the commodity area. So I think you've got to be very selective um, because uh, at this particular point, it's it, it's like they just you know taking some of the best the best leaders down, and you've got to be very careful. But I think I'm starting to see. I mean, why would uh, U.S. Steel hold quite nicely? Why would uh, Alcoa? So I'm beginning to see some of the cyclicals, even Boeing, are holding up pretty decently. And these are the big cyclicals. So I'm not that bearish, but I, I do think you've got to be very careful. But we are looking for new positions to put on on this uh, pullback. We've built up a cash position again. And folks, it's very easy to get Basil's newsletter. Come over to our website at TFNN. You go into newsletters, you see the opening call on the right hand side. You hit that, uh, whether it's one month, six months, a year, and you are off to the races. The, 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 the steel deal, Basil, is that that's that infrastructure bill that went through. Yes. I mean, that's that's a different ball game. So they're and, gonna get that's business. That's what I'm saying. They Except get in business, period. Yeah. Correct, right. yeah. Right. So, and you've gotta look at them that way. And even that, the money's not there yet. So these things might be running on optimism, but oh, you for don't sure. do your technical sure. analysis at the same time. It's a yes. beautiful thing. Well, listen, man, you have a great one, safe one, and we look forward to the program tomorrow. Thank you very much, Tom. You too. Awesome, man. Have a great one. Have a safe one.